Hi mamas, Coach Deanne with Fruit of Your Labor Coaching. Wanted to bring you another video today, just a quick one to show you how I do my sweet potatoes and how I prep them so that I always have sweet potatoes ready. They're such a great e-fuel source um, that I think it's handy to always have them on hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my instant pot. That's how I cook mine. I have a little trivet, I put that in, pour a cup of water. You always have to have water in your Instant Pot if you're not familiar with the Instant Pot. Then I have four sweet potatoes. They're pretty good sized. This one is really good sized, um, but I just put them in. I have taken the knife and put little cuts in them so that you know all of the heat and air and steam and all that stuff gets through to them. So basically I'm just gonna put them in there all on one la layer. I have double layered them before with more than that, so it will work. Um, I just only have four right now to cook. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lid, make sure my seal is ready to go, and I will put it on. Make sure that I've got my valve closed, and then I'm going to start it and put it on manual for 30. And just let this cook. And then when it's finished, just let it naturally release the air then I let them cool for a little bit and I put each sweet potato in an individual Ziploc and then I put them in my freezer. And then what happens is when I know that I'm gonna have a sweet potato the next day, I just simply take it out the night before and it's thawed and ready to reheat. That way I've cooked them and cooled them. I'm sure uh, most of you have probably heard that that is really preferred so that you kind of decrease uh, some of that natural sugar in those and the carbs. Um, so that way they're ready, ready to go, take them out, heat them. You can combine them with whatever lean protein you want uh, so that you can have a nice e-meal. You can have them for breakfast, dinner, or even a nice snack. All right, remember ladies, we're always looking for progress, not perfection.